these, you could have bought in, all the houses in town in those days were boarded up. They were, they were just all boarded up. And you could have bought any house in town for $500. And nobody wanted them. You know, who wanted them? They, they just, nobody wanted them. And of course, now those little houses along Elk Avenue are like a million five hundred thousand dollars. I remember that I took a photo that summer on Elk Avenue with my father's old Agfoot camera with some black and white film in it, and I was at the far end of Elk Avenue looking up this dirt street, and there was nothing. It was abandoned. It was empty. The only thing was a tiny old beat-up Volkswagen parked up here somewhere around Cochibers, and that was it. And that was the photo that I took that summer. And there were virtually no, no cars in those days. And in talking to Blow the other day, she said that you know people shared rides. You know people didn't have cars, so they shared rides to get us and to get groceries and that kind of thing. We camped at Lake Irwin. And it was pretty rustic camping in those days. We had to carry water from the lake to boil for our drinking water and bathing and that kind of thing. And we'd come into town once a day to buy ice cream cones at Stefani's Grocery. And we'd sit on a bench in front of the store and say we're life. And that was our entertainment. Every day we'd get in the car and come into town to Stefani's. 